Hi there, my name is Eric Vermeulen. I'm a behavioral economic strategist, and in this episode of Exploring Mind Management Principles, we're going to be looking at how your mind moves your body in the direction of your dominant thought. My third principle basically says that your mind will move your body in the direction of your dominant thought. So I want you to do this little exercise. Pause the video now if you have to, but find a pen and a piece of paper. And once you have that pen and a piece of paper, all I want you to do quite simply is on your piece of paper, draw a nice big number six. I know this wasn't difficult. You do it every day. You've been doing it since you were three years old. Well, maybe four or five. Now what I'd like you to do is to remain seated in a position where you can hold the pen and reach the piece of paper. But before you draw number six, I want you to pick up the foot of the hand that you write with. So if you're right-handed, pick up your right foot. If you're left-handed, pick up the corresponding foot. And with your foot, I now want you in the air to make a clockwise circle. Just put, pick your foot up slightly off the ground and from the knee down, just make a, anti, uh, a clockwise circle. Get that clockwise circle going nice and smoothly. Now, there we go. A couple more times. Nicely done. Don't stop. Keep making that clockwise circle with your foot. And I now want you to draw a number six. What's happened? How easy was it to draw that number six? Or did something wonky possibly happen? If you're like 95% of the population, something wonky happened as you started drawing that number six. Because the minute you started drawing the number six, you got a bit, I call it a brain fart, but your foot stopped moving in that clockwise, smooth clockwise circle and had a bit of a wobble and then adopted the same movement as your hand when you were drawing the six, which of course is an anti-clockwise movement. It shows us that there's a very, very close connection between what we think and what we do. And when people tell us that they can multitask, for example, by speaking on the cell phone and driving home, they're lying because your mind can hold one thought at a time and it'll move your body in the direction of your dominant thought. So if you are on the phone driving home, you probably by the time you get home won't remember driving past certain landmarks that you would always drive past. And that is because when we multitask, instead of multi-focusing, we're really just apportioning our concentration between little bits um, for short periods of time. And so the, that moment when you drove past that specific landmark, you were focused more on the conversation than on your drive home. Make sure you stay safe and remember that your mind will move your body in the direction of your dominant thought. Music